another food festival. But this time, we're over here at the Foodland Food Festival in Las Vegas at the Motor Speedway. That's right, we're over here at the Motor Speedway. And as usual, I came to find some food. Now, normally, Foodie Fest, San Gennaro, Greek Food Festival, you name it. I'm going, but this time we have Foodie Land and we got a lot of people coming in from the Bay, from LA, all over. Yo, we came to find the top four or five different foods here at the Foodland Food Festival. It's gonna be out here this weekend and next weekend, so if you get a chance, come check it out. Let's go find us some food and see what the Foodland Festival is all about. Now you know there's something magical that happens when a food festival comes to Las Vegas. A lot of loves in there as well as the smell of really delicious treats. And you get to see some of the craziest creations around. Like this stall by Lucky Ball Korean Barbecue that had grilled Korean style meat skewers and plates. Super busy the whole night so I was guessing it's pretty good. What got me was the charcoal grilled squid. Now I love me some calamari from a traditional Italian restaurant but these straight up look like aliens on a stick. Which is worth a try to me but I have to say. They were a little bit tough, so I might stick to the deep fried calamari next time. Still pretty good though. This guy surprised me with these little samples of meat. It was a 12 spice Korean meat skewer that was so good it had me trying out their tacos. Now listen, tacos are right up my alley, but this guy was doing it right. Chino's Tacos from North Las Vegas. Their mango habanero was the winner of the Great Las Vegas Taco Festival for good reason. It was on point. He also had hand chopped grilled carne asada and bagogi beef tacos. He dressed them up for me and let me find out the right way what he was cooking up. gonna front you go find his stall these are some great street tacos he does the whole Asian Latin fusion and it just works I was supposed to try out different foods but I got hung up eating tacos because they just did it for me Who are you in? Las Vegas. I'm seeing, man. Check yeah, us out. Thank you. That took me right next door to my boy from the Bay Area, 45 Loaded Potato, who had a killer seafood french fries and a nice chicken fry. I had to see what was up with this dude. He did not disappoint. His fries were great. Loaded 45. I'll see a picture of that potato. Loaded 45. Loaded 45. Loaded 45. And that wasn't even it. He also had some chicken wings that were goaded. Now I'm a Wingstop guy. Hey, I'm sorry to all you B-Dubs fans, but Wingstop has some flavorful wings. But this guy's lemon pepper wings slapped Wingstop. For real, man, go check him out. They were crispier and juicier. But moving on this journey, this lady had a two layer Reese's cake that would have put me into a food coma. So I went over to see this dude mopping some lobsters like a rack of ribs, which means lobster roll time. Yo, shout out to Cousins Main Lobster. It's almost impossible to mess up a lobster roll. And for $20, it actually better be the business. And I have to say, yo, it, it was. Buttery rolls, sweet buttery lobster meat, decent. But hey, we're looking for something exotic, so we're trying out these Noya oysters. Oh, he's balling. Look at him balling. Six for 30, but you know, we're at the fair. Right? Exactly. The thing about oysters is that it's a little hit or miss. See, I got some Noya oysters here. Shout out to Lil Wayne. The oyster barbecue sauce? I don't know. It's a lot of barbecue sauce. Spicy as hell. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Barbecue sauce is kind of overpowering there. Oh, God. The other one was the ube. Is that what this one is? I say after a second, you know what? The spice is actually kind of okay. Was this an ube, I believe? Alright, that one was way better. This one, with all the barbecue sauce, way too overpowering. But, it does have a kick at the end. This one, uh, it's just right, it's kind of citrusy. Kind of the right amount of spices, kind of hits right in the middle. This bad boy right here though, I don't know. It's, it's a lot, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a lot. Looking like a Ninja Turtle on the other side. Got a little Ninja Turtle shell. I'm gonna try one more time just in case. It's just not my bag, baby. I'm gonna try this one one more time though. Oh, that's on point. Such a crazy difference though. That second one's kind of toasted, citrusy, herby, oystery, straight up delicious. First one, spice and barbecue sauce, that's it. 
decent. I don't know if it's worth $18 something. So I'm calling it now. This was an amazing macaroon if you're into that. They're from Los Angeles and this lady hand paints every macaroon. I can't even pronounce the name. Itoile Filante? Anyways, look them up or try to find her because she has some amazing stuff. Oreo flavor, brownie, horchata, churro, pistachio. I'm going to go ahead and try one of these in a bit, but for now, we're going to hit up all things ube desserts from San Diego. These guys infuse ube into amazing treats, and if you don't know what ube is, it's basically a purple yam. But lastly, I found this place, the Drunken Dumpling. I love bao and dumpling, so I wanted to check them out, specifically for their pho soup dumpling. I'm not lying, man. It looks like a plastic soup dumpling. That's the one. Yeah, this is the one right here. It's a pho soup dumpling. You taste all that clove, Chinese five spice, that pork, a little bit of that soup. Shoot, man, it's, uh, this, this is probably it right here. Pho soup dumpling. That's the one. Ladies and gentlemen, it just doesn't get much better than that, let me tell you. A little bit of cheesecake bite. Oh man, okay. That was wrong. This might be the best thing I ever ate. This is incredible. No exaggeration. This is by far one of the best things I've ever had in my whole life. Go check these guys out. San Diego coming through with it. Ube white macadamia nut cookie. I like it. Not as much as I like a cheesecake bite though. The cheesecake bite was everything. The other thing I didn't get to try was these guys. Horchata macaroon, man. I love me some horchata. You put some horchata in front of me, it's done deal, baby. But I never had a horchata macaroon. I mean, what are we talking about? What are, what are we even doing here? Wow. They deserve a lot of credit, man. I'm surprised these people ain't sold out, man. These are great. Oh, that's delicious. I mean, these desserts might be the best thing I ever had tonight. Point blank and period. Ah, so much food. So much we've done here tonight. I mean, ah, it was delicious. I loved every minute of it. But top five things we ate here at the Foodie Land Food Festival. I would have to say that skewer from Chico's Tacos. Pork seared to perfection. I would say that seafood fries, man. Those seafood fries were the absolute truth. Absolutely slapped. Can't even beat it with a stick. The pho dumplings. I almost never had a great soup pho dumpling like that. And of course that horchata macaroon. The ube cheesecake was so good. Yo, that's it, man. I'd say come check out the Foodie Land Festival if you can catch it here in Las Vegas. Let me know though, what you guys think about that. I'm gonna catch you in the next one, later.